Hey guys, today I'm just going to make a video about how you can make your own YouTube layout and how you can build or make a simple template to follow so it will be easy to know where uh, you need to uh, put your images so it will uh, fit um, your things on your page. So if you want a little um, picture well, where your name is uh, you need this template uh, or you don't need but it will get a lot lot easier to know what to do okay so if I go to my channel here uh, I made a template yesterday uh, and made this background to it and it was quite easy uh, as you can see I have a little like thing here that fits perfectly uh, where this like here is and I have some things here, I have made a picture for the comments and also like my videos then you should subscribe also my recent activity and uh, also then my supporters now as you can see uh, those these pictures are a little up um, but uh, that's, be that's only because I am logged in and I see this thing it's, uh, it's in the way so everything gets um, uh, a little uh, pushed up so you need to sign out sign out if you're going to do this and then you just go to your profile and okay so you can see now it's perfectly fits uh, where the supporters are okay so how do you create this layout okay so the first thing is you want to copy your whole screen here and to the whole way down uh, like here so the first thing first thing we need to do is to go to our snippet tool snipping tool in English uh, and then just copy the whole screen not the YouTube thing and stuff like that only where you're going to have your background image so something like that okay and I'm going to save this as 1.png and then I'm just going to scroll down around here and make a new come on it's a bit slow sometimes Um, oh yeah, they will have it. Have console, uh, and then just make another picture, and then we will um, make these pictures all into one. So save this as, as two dot png. Oops, I don't need to close that down. Uh, oops. Okay, so now let's just take the last pieces here. We don't need the whole thing here if you don't want to, so around here and uh, oops and save this as free png. Now what you want to do is yeah you got these free images and uh, maybe in four so you open it the first image with Photoshop and then now what you want to do is to make uh, this image longer longer so you will be able to fit those two other pictures uh, so go into images and go into height and I'm just going to increase this to 2500 pixels hit OK um, let's just ok we can do it like that um, yeah canvas size uh, so go into canvas size instead and select 2500 okay exactly like that and now what you want to do 
is to move this picture right to the top and hold down shift so the picture won't move to the left or right and you can scroll up and then you just match it something like that okay and now what you want to do is to drag these two images in here and now what you want to do is just drag this outside and click on the first image and just I'll put it somewhere just like that so now we get two layers here so now you want to fit this uh, right perfect here so what you can do to make this more simple is to just lower the opacity a little bit so you can see and then you can just zoom in a little bit and get like one place where you can see um, and then just hold on shift and move this a little bit up okay so something like that Now we can just go back to the opacity to 100%. And now we're just going to take. Oops, yeah, perfect. Now we're just going to take the last image and do the same thing. Uh, so we just move this inside here. And I mean, you don't have to lower the opacity, okay. So that looks good. So now when you are finished, you can just close these pictures you open up. And now what you want to do is to crop the whole image so you got your whole layout. So go to the crop tool and it will auto detect. Okay, and now go to image and select crop. Okay, so here you got your layout. So your layout is now ready and well, how do you do it now though? It's a good flat image here to make it to one, one single bay and you can save it as like if you want to go and edit this again, go to PSD and we can save it as a YouTube underscore template and now if you want to um, make your YouTube layout um, you can just make a new layer here and go to this and make a copy of it and then you can just lower the opacity and then just go to layer 1 and let's say you want a text here at the sub say uh, to say like subscribe uh, you can just write sub or something like that and for just this video uh, I'm not going to do anything more so yes check done and now you can just oh we can add a white background as well and you can easily do this by creating a new layer and go to this fill tool and select white and go to the text tool and we need to create uh, another color for that so something like that so now you're going to have your subtext uh, right where your subscribe box here, uh, here are here so yeah uh, when you want to edit you can just unclick this and then when you are finished, uh, you will you won't you don't want to save this one, so you just uncheck that and check that again. And then you can just go ahead and save this as a JPEG or something like that. And YouTube background. Then then you can just upload it. So it was just an example video on this to add that to make your own YouTube background. So if you like this video please comment, rate and subscribe and I see you guys next time. Bye.